Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Real Football Network. I'm Jim Miller. Well, another week on the college scene, and the game is happening right here in my backyard, Ann Arbor, Michigan, as the number 12 Michigan Wolverines get set to host the number 7 Michigan State Spartans. How is Michigan a six and a half point favorite over my Spartan dogs? Well, I'll tell you why. It's the defense. Michigan's got the number one defense in the land right now, especially scoring defense. Number one, only giving up about six and a half point half points a game. Also, you look at their third down efficiency. They're also number one in the country in that category. 18% that they're giving up on third down conversion. So the defense has been stout for Michigan. But what do we know about Michigan State? I mean, up until the game against Two weeks ago, Michigan State has averaged over 30 points a game. So this is strength on strength and should be a terrific ball game. But who are the players you should focus on in this matchup? For Michigan State, it's Connor Cook. Can make all kinds of throws. Six foot four, 220 pounds. He's the real deal. He's athletic. He's won big games. He's the all-time winningest quarterback at, at Michigan State. Lit up uh, the Scarlet Knights uh, last week for 350, uh, 357 yards. That was a season high. Uh, for Connor Cook. He's got a plethora of weapons that he can throw to, but he can do it all, and I think probably could emerge as the best quarterback in the land as the draft fast approaches. We'll have to wait them all out. If Goff uh, out in the West Coast, if he elects to enter the draft, maybe it could get iffy, but Connor Cook, in my mind, is the top quarterback in the country. Jack Conklin, We've talked about him before. He's the top tackle. Uh, he's a redshirt junior, six foot six, three hundred and eighteen pounds. Comes with a lot of starts. Twenty eight consecutive starts until what? Last week, he's dealing with a knee injury, so he dressed for the game uh, against uh, the Scarlet Knights, but did not play. And so Michigan State is hoping to get him back on the field. For all indicators, he's the best tackle to ever come out of Michigan State since Flozell Adams. He is the real deal and definitely will be a first-rounder, and he's only a junior. Next guy you need to focus on on the offensive line, the center, Jack Allen. He's a four-year starter. Let me give you his numbers. He's six foot two, 298 pounds, classic overachiever. He's graded in the, in the mid-rounds is where he's going to go, but the versatility. This guy is a smart, smart football player. When Jack Conklin... Uh, went out with the, the, the knee injury. Guess who played left tackle? Their center. Michigan State moved Jack Allen to the left tackle spot, and he played fine. Very smart football player, very physical, and just kind of the worker bee that gets the, gets the job done. Defensively, of course, you got to talk about the defensive end. Shalik Calhoun, he's a redshirt senior, senior six foot five, 252 pounds. Needs to put on weight in order to be able to, to stop the run a little bit better. But here's what you like about Shalik Calhoun. Comes with all kinds of production. Six tackles for a loss this season. He's got five sacks, ten quarterback hurries. Quick off his step, and he's long and he's rangy. Prototypical pass rusher that you want in the National Football League. Expected, expected to go at the end of round one or early uh, second rounder when you look at Shalik Calhoun. Michigan. They're in a bunch of no-names. How about Wayne Lyons, cornerback, redshirt senior? He transfers from Stanford. Obviously, the ties with Jim Harbaugh. He's six foot one, 196 pounds. Jim Harbaugh obviously still had the connections out there at Stanford, but he's just a, a good uh, all-around physical player. He's kind of a press man corner, and again, it's the size because he's six one, 196. That's what teams have been focusing on. So he's listed as a fourth rounder. I bet you he goes higher than that. And again, I think it's going to be because, one, he'll test better than what people think, and he's got the pipeline with Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh has a lot of connections where he's going to be talking to coaches saying, hey, you need to take a shot on this kid. He's a better player so uh, than what everybody's giving him credit for. Very physical run defender, good all-around player, guy you want on your team. Last but not least, let's talk about the outside linebacker, James Ross. He's six foot one, 232 pounds. He is a fifth rounder as well. Um, at times, he's a very undisciplined player, but he's around the football. He's aggressive, and he, he wants to hit. You know, the guy, uh, you know, is a good football player and always around the football, but at times, very undisciplined uh, in his play. But Maybe that's what it is, organized chaos, and why Michigan's defense is number one in the land. We'll find out this weekend, strength versus strength. Spartan offense, even though they come in a little bit banged up, willing to test that Michigan State defense, or that Michigan defense. So I've got the, Spartan, the Spartans getting the victory 27-20 to 20 in this ballgame. It's going to be hard-hitting. 
And you look at Michigan State, they've dominated this series. They've won the last six out of seven. And just because Jim Harbaugh is back, they are better than expected very early in the season. But this will be Michigan's bis- biggest test to date. We'll see how they fare. 27-20, Michigan State gets the victory. Thanks for watching us right here on the Real Football Network.